we're having a great opportunity here. We're doing oil change. Actually, we're pulling the motor here. Tyler's working on his own bike. And I've told these students about this numerous times where this oil filter design is so common to be missing a part. I mean, all the time. And what we could see as soon as we pulled it apart, the rubber grommet, yeah, once you get close in there, is loose in there. There should be the same rubber grommet here. Should be right here and it's shoved inside there. And a big reason that is, is this spring, as you tighten this cover up against this, this spring goes here so that this doesn't vibrate and come loose and come off the bike. That's what this is doing, right? It's holding this up against the engine block on one rubber seal, and this goes here. Well, if you don't have the metal washer that should be in here, as you tighten this bolt and this rotates around, that'll scoop that O-ring up, pop it right inside. The problem with that is, is now you don't have filtration. The oil is just going right on through there and you have unfiltered oil in the engine. And it's, it's unbelievable, it's unbelievable how often we see this when we go to take these apart. And you technicians, you gotta know that, just tell yourself this, anytime you ever, and I mean ever, have a spring against rubber, there should be a metal washer so that that doesn't dig in. You remember when we just did fuel systems yep. and the air fuel screws yep. and how many of them are missing? Yeah. You just gotta know your, you gotta know your systems, you gotta know your vehicles. So we pulled it up on the parts fish so you guys could get a, get a shot of that. So number seven there, you see the cover, the spring, number seven, washer plate, two bucks. My shop, what we do is we always just have these inventoried. It's common for me to keep a spring in that washer. And check this out too. These filters are the real common same size for Kawasaki, Honda, Suzuki, anybody that ran that cartridge filter. So that one washer, uh, I always kept a Honda one on hand, uh, would fit numerous different models. So that's my tip of the day. And Tyler, for you here, this isn't surprising uh, that somebody, when they uh, when they did it at one time, it probably dropped off and fell in the oil pan. And just so yeah. you guys don't think that we dropped it in the oil pan, when we took this apart, this was actually, sit, we had to pr kind of pry this up here because this was bottomed out all the way. We literally pulled this apart, the spring was missing, and we know that the last person didn't do their job. So that's our tip. Make it a great day, and we'll uh, see you soon. Keep wrenching.